What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be drawing Shalot, Super Saiyan God, the red, not blue. So, we well, could color blue if you wanted, I guess. Landscape, page, pencil, and then eraser for the sketch them out lightly. Hit pause if I go too fast and speed it up if I'm going too slow. <laughs> so, YouTube's good like that. Let's go. Center point of my page about here. Come down, over to the right. Start with that W frown in the middle of their forehead. So it's quite skinny and shallot in this picture. So it's like a W in the middle. Eyebrows come out from there. So you go a tick. Like so. Square end. And then bring it back down, making it skinnier as you go. Right, and sometimes there's lines on the end of the eyebrow. Same thing on the other side, pretty much curved line. Go on this way. Square end. And then bring it down, getting thinner down to the front. He does have some like brow lines just there. And maybe a line up the middle as well. So Dragon Ball eyes, square sort of eyes, right? So you have a small line first, close to the nose, and then a long line, just there, going diagonal. Join these together with a curved line, like that. His iris and pupil then inside here, quite big, like so. And then that pupil black sort of half circle coming from below the eyebrow. Do the same thing on the other side. So we have that small line, then a long line, and we join those together with a curved line. It doesn't have to be curved, but usually it is. And then his iris, semicircle or half circle just coming down from the eyebrow. The pupil is the same thing, except it's just colored in black. His nose left of center, we just have this hook, so it comes out, down, and around. So it's like a, yeah, it's like a fishing hook or something. And then they always draw in the shadow on the side of the nose. So you just go like that. He also has like some frowning sort of lines there. And we have the check mark lines underneath the cheeks, like that, and over here. His mouth, so it, it comes out from underneath the nose, right? So it comes, it like touches the bottom of the nose. So it like goes out there, curves down, like that. Kind of the same on the other side, comes out from underneath the nose, comes down, around like that, a little bit bumpier on that side. And then curves along here. Teeth. top teeth bottom teeth and tongue are the same line so it's like if you're drawing a tongue but it's his teeth as well and you could have some lines on his molars at the back of his mouth like so and then he also has those sort of stretch lines on the side of his mouth like so and then his chin, pretty square, like that. Maybe a line just for bottom lip kind of thing. So typical sort of screaming Dragon Ball face. So what we do now, go for the jaw. Jaw, you're aiming for like, just in line with the top teeth and sort of underneath the corner of his eye there, right? So this is your point that you're aiming for. Same on this side, right? So you go just diagonal. So you want to stop about there. So you're kind of like down from that and across from the teeth. See like that. So here you change your direction. So if you, you, you would keep going, the line would go that way. Right? It would go here. But from this point, you want to like go up towards the eyebrow more, not out that way. So you want to change the angle of your line. So you just go up 
like that, right? Same on this side. You don't want to go that way. Here you go up towards the eyebrow. Okay. He also has like some scratch marks on his face, like he's been fighting, so like that. Okay, so we can see some sideburn here, right? And the sideburn becomes the ear as well. Quite big ears in Dragon Ball. He also has like a line on the side of his head. And then this comes around for his hairline. Goes down towards the middle. A bit hairy. And then it goes back up that way. He has one spike that comes out this way. So it just goes up. Down like that. Covers this side of his head. And then his ear in there. And then some ear lines. Easiest way to do this is just like a letter J sort of thing like that. But you can add, of course, much more detail if you want it. Ears are pretty complicated things, but there's easy ways of doing them and hard ways. So then the rest of his hair. So we've got small spike just coming out from the ear. Typical Dragon Ball Super Saiyan. And then the spikes get gradually larger. Okay, so we're going across his head first. Like that. Okay, and then there's like one big one here in the middle. And a couple of smaller ones just filling these gaps here. Okay. And then you can add texture lines all over. So there's lots of different ways of doing the texture lines, but you're basically just like following the shape of each hair spike like this, right? And I've seen some artists do like lots of textures and some doing not so much, so. It is up to you. Okay, so we will go down now and do his body. So it's an action pose, right? So we have two fists and like some armor on his chest. So say coming out from here, we'll do like his chest armor, right? So we've got like this curving line here. That's kind of got a bump on it. And that goes down underneath his armpits right here somewhere. And then it comes across his neck. Here. It goes up the other side behind his ear. And then we have a black sort of collar just underneath his chin. You can see some of his skin of his neck just in here. So you got like a neck muscle. And then like center line for his chest is about there coming across that way. And you got some like folds on his collar, the other chest muscle there. And then a, sort of a rim or an edge. It's kind of like Vegeta's armor, but slightly different. And his chest muscles here. Joins that shoulder pad then. Like so. Okay, so his 
the rest of that armor so we got like a torso area down this way and this like spins around behind his ribs on this side so this is like an extra edge line and then he has a black t-shirt that goes down here in behind a belt that's like fabric and then a belt there so that's his torso so we have like a big arm that's like coming towards the screen and then one that's like pulled back right so we can see like his shoulder here we do this one and then there's a fist behind it right so you've got like knuckles one two three and a fourth right and then these come down to fingers one two three four and then this just goes back this way like that and then each of these is a finger and you could have some knuckle lines on each of these like that and then the thumb so when you make a fist you know your thumb crosses the front of these fingers like there and you got a thumbnail on top and then like the palm of his hand here and then he has like armor wristband lines like all here loads of them like fabric or something just going around and then his arm goes into his shoulder and his forearm comes down behind like his rib cage back here and he's got some armor lines and stuff on that so now the big arm so he's got like big shoulder and a t-shirt sort of fabric right so it curves like this and then it steps up and down right you've got the opening for the t-shirt that goes around his shoulder here right and this kind of just bumps like fold lines going around his muscles like so and then we got shoulder muscles sticking out here tricep bumps a couple of times like that and then the bicep line is like here and then this is there's like a forearm there like so so his other fist is like in here same sort of thing right so we've got it's kind of it's slightly bigger so we got like knuckle one two three and four and then this comes around for his little finger and then here and then this goes around like so and you can have like knuckle lines this looks like a knuckle here finger curves around And the thumb again just sitting on top of the edge of these fingers and like the palm of his hand there so hands are kind of tricky so take your time with that and then we have 
like a big foreshortened arm. So it's all like circular lines, right? So we've got like, he's got this armored up kind of wrist thing going on, right? So it just curves around like this and bumps up here. And goes around the back, right? And then you just, Add some circular lines coming around. Like that. He's got some scratches on his bicep. Right, so I'm going to put his tail. His tail goes down in the picture I'm drawn from, but I'm just going to like go up just so I can, because I, I won't see it otherwise. And it's kind of cool that he's a Saiyan that still has his tail. So you're just adding this spiky. Sort of line going down, texture on it like this. Like so. Right. And if you want, like you can give him energy it's like in the picture it looks like it's just coming from his fist and maybe i'll add like some like energy just here it's coming out from his fist Shalat, Super Saiyan God. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.